All right, we're here at the Dare to Be Different uh, competition, and we're talking to another finalist. And tell me who you are and where you're from. My name is Brian Fisher. I'm from Shiner, Texas, a little small town about halfway between San Antonio and Houston. And you're a developer? Yes, been writing software since the days of mainframes and card decks. And, and how'd you hear about this uh, competition? I was talking to one of the vendors. Uh, Am I allowed to use names? You're sure. Gonna splice yeah. so I can dumb, d ask questions in the middle, right? Yeah. Uh, I was talking to Digi. They were, we were using them for some of the sensors. They were trying to sell me a different product. I told them I wasn't interested in that one. Yeah. They said, "Well, what do you want?" I said, "I, I only program in C sharp." Mm -hmm. And they said, "We have this C sharp engine." And I said, "Okay, send me one. We'll see how it works." At the time, I was actually looking at making this an XP embedded product. Yeah. And I looked at it, it, you know, as far as doing all the device driver and, and stuff like that that I need for my uh, data collection for my gateway, it worked out well for that. And during the midst of all that, the contest came up and they, they looked into more of the features. It had a nice GUI and so we looked at adding a GUI to the, feet, to, to the product mm -hmm. that we were offering. And it, you know, we looked at with that GUI, you could sit back and, and uh, deal with a few more issues. And so what our entry into the contest was that we thought, besides the monitoring features our company is offering, we could offer the ability to have a, a really smart controller out there, you know, pass the word of what most people call smart. Yeah. Because we can go in and take account of when the, when the where we are in the growing 37 day so growing let's, season. Let's uh, talk about this. What, what exactly uh, does this uh, do? And you've got a, a pretty uh, sophisticated diagram here. <laughs> with lots a, of numbers. With a lot of numbers and a, a little mock-up here. So what, what, did we, uh, what do we got on the device and what's the process here? What all does it control? Okay, the major control part of this feature is for controlling the curtains which are up here. And this is for Poultry this is production. For, this is actually for a broiler production house, which behaves a little different than a hen house or, mm -hmm. or a, a pullet house. And this is where we actually, these people actually grow your chicken breasts that you get at your restaurant tonight. Nice. And uh, so what are the challenges and what are the things that you actually control? The challenges have been, and, and that's where have been the, the, you know, the really good capabilities of the uh, .NET micro framework thing, program um, environment has been that the, um, we start that sentence. Sure, yeah. Um, you you know, what's been really good about the environment is to be able to p go out there and put a controller that's actually in constant co contact with the internet. Mm -hmm. One for reporting what its current state is, but two for letting for to put in new new information like a cold front coming in. You need to change the configuration of the house. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, we're, how's that done now? Uh, Gentleman goes out, and, <laughs> and, and you know, with a little bit of experience and and f insight into how to do this, yeah. he actually goes out there and and changes this, and he has to read the weather report and all that. So and, and all this can be automated. Well, we can automate the fact that we can automate the the fact that you know you need to do this at this per certain time, mm -hmm. and there's a gentleman on the side all the time to do this, but he's you know busy doing other things, and yeah. so this can notify him by cell phone or, mm -hmm. or text mm -hmm. message that you know that he needs to change the configuration that the cold front's 20 miles away because we can get this information off the internet and push it down to the site. Yeah. The rest of what we can do is put in a long, longer range configuration that says this is the winter or the summer, this is the configuration that it is currently in. The really important time that this is important is in the fall and spring where in at least the, the this region that all these poultry houses are in, you know, it doesn't quite completely turn to winter or summer. Yeah. And so you could end up having, you know, in the fall what they call the Indian summers, and I don't know what the equivalent of that is in the spring, but you know, you you, you change your configuration, the controllers if they if you try to tune them existing controllers, then they get totally confused yeah. because the weather doesn't match what they're trying to do. So mm -hmm. you can actually go in with your cell phone and say, you know, go to a safe standby mode till we can change the configuration. Great. And uh, what are the other things that uh, you can control with this? Um, we can control things like misters mm -hmm. for you know, adding an extra concooling. 
We can monitor things like water consumption, so we can check to see about the bird's health when there's 28,000 of them in the poultry house, if their water doesn't match the normal trend for that growing period. So is the idea to have one of these boards for every point that you want to control, or does you have one board that controls multiple things? You have one board that talks to multiple things, and that's mm -hmm. another point in the in the C-sharp C you know, multi-thread environment that yeah. I can have this thing do the work of five different controllers that are out there now, mm -hmm. our monitoring systems and things like that. Did you have to make any changes to the hardware that uh, Microsoft sent you? Oh, I added hardware. <laughs> yeah, added a lot more. Yeah, the, the, the board I have here is our first prototype we were doing, and so we luckily, for the first set of features, we luckily found a little unit here from this company that handled the water meter input, mm -hmm. so you can now measure how much the birds are actually consuming every day. It also had another analog input that allowed it to l simulate the curtain position, this little item up here that goes up and down mm -hmm. that adds to the ventilation in one of the configurations. It had several digital IOs that you can, can come back and control the uh, curtain movement up and down. Mm -hmm. And cool. then the coolest thing about this thing that it had was the ability to look at a load cell so that you could measure the weight of the birds. And so we have a proprietary algorithm that lets you sit back and as the birds walk on and off, and you have several on there, we do some calculations and tell you that the, the statistical you know, prediction of what the weight of the birds in the house is this based on looking at them for a 24-hour period. Nice. Excellent. And since then, we've added other, <clears throat> since then, the we've added other hardware to do more features. We're evaluating ultrasonic sensors for the level it's in the feed, these little feed silos over here. Mm -hmm. And we've, uh, we're looking at some energy monitoring because uh, when you sit back and you have these many, this many fans running, there's 16, you know, one, probably a quarter, half horse fans running for yeah. 37 days, 24 yeah. hours. What can you do to change how that works? And then we're also looking at things like propane tank levels for, that are used to create the heat for when the bird, when the chicks are really small and they want to pretend like they're still next to mom. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thanks for showing us this, and, uh, and good luck in the competition. Thank you.